I never normally get ahead, but this is one of the most versatile sauces in the repertoire, a ragu sauce, which you can turn into millions of things. So when on a Wednesday night you think, what am I going to cook? You've actually cooked it on a Monday. You can use it for cottage pie, you can use it for lasagna, you can use it for spaghetti. It's the perfect versatile sauce. I'm just going to pick some bay leaves. And it's one of those lovely, long, slow dishes, just like the breast of lamb, that you just leave and abandon for three hours and then go back, and it looks fantastic. This is going to make for eight, because I like to keep some back to use again and again and again, but do it for what you like. I'm going to have about two and a half pounds of meat, just well over a kilo, really good chuck steak, something that's fatty. Forget what the food please tell you, you want fat. Olive oil and butter here, throw the whole lot in and start cooking. And that is just going to sweat very gently till it's translucent, golden, softened before I put the meat in. Put all the vegetables in it. So really all you need with whatever dish, lasagna, cottage pie, spaghetti, all you need is a good green salad. And everybody loves it, every child, everybody. All the meat goes in, and the first thing I'm going to do is put salt into it, because you actually want to start leaching the juice out of the meat, and the salt will help do that. So put that in abundantly, and stir it down and brown it. The moment the meat goes in, you just want to cook it until it's lost the raw colour, before you put in my surprise ingredient. So, the meat, as you can see, has lost its raw look. So, it's time for the unusual ingredient, which is a trick I learned from a lovely Italian cookery writer called Marcella Hazan. And that is milk. You want a lovely, mellow, gentle flavour to the ragu. Put your milk into the meat, which absorbs it. And you've got a fantastic, gentle flavour. And also, it, it, helps, it helps prevent the acidic bite of the tomatoes you're going to put in next, after the wine, that is. I think about a third of a pint. The next thing we want to do is just simmer that down, and the moment it's disappeared and you can't see it, you're ready for the next stage. So the milk is just beginning to simmer, at which point add the bay leaves, which I went and picked. So good scrunches of pepper. Some nutmeg, which always goes with milk. And slosh in the wine. Just a good slosh. And do the same as with the milk. Just bubble it, let the meat absorb some of it. And then all we've got to do is put in the tomatoes. And that's it. As you can see, the fat's beginning to separate. So it's about time to stick the tomatoes in. Organic, needless to say. They need to chop them first. Chop them in the pot. And that's going to colour the dish and flavour it and make it fantastic. So that should do it. And then I'm just going to turn the heat up again once more and then we leave the whole thing to simmer. Actually, at this point, I might add a little bit more seasoning. Bit of both. To do it. So I'm just stirring the tomatoes right down into this. I'm going to bring it up to the boil and then simmer it for three hours. And just abandon it really. Go shopping, whatever. It'll look after itself. So three hours later, as if by magic. One ragu, look at the colour, it's really deepened. And that is going to be something it would do for eight if you've got eight people. If not, use a bit now, use a bit tomorrow, use a bit the next day. Pasta, lasagna, spaghetti, cottage pie, 